What's up, people? Craig here, Crying Jags Music. Uh, this lesson we're going to be doing Selling the Drama um, by Live off their 1994 LP, uh, Throne Copper. So the guitar is tuned down a semitone or half step, all right? Um, and the chords are pretty simple. And with this lesson, I'm going to be showing you three techniques um, a bend, a pull, and a mute. Okay? Um, so the song starts um, with a bend on the A string second fret. Um, I use my third finger for some reason. You should actually use your um, first finger because you're going to be going to the G. For some reason, when I learned how to play it way back in Nam, I used my third finger. Maybe it was stronger or I might have uh, dislocated or broken my index finger at the time. Uh, whatever. Um, so anyway, I play it with my third finger, but you should probably use your, your first finger because you're going to go to a G. The first chord is actually a G. All right, so what a bend is basically, you're, you're taking your string, right? You could bend it up or down, um, and basically you're going to get like a half step out of it, all right? So if you're bending, um, well... If you're bending a, a B flat, which this, this would be, um, you would get a B out of it, right? Uh, in standard tuning, it would be a B, you would get a C. So it's like, basically you're grabbing it and you're bending it. I'll try to get a little closer. So you're taking the string, whatever string it is, and you're just bending it up or down. All right, whatever string it is, you could bend up. And you get a half step out of it. So if I'm holding this, it should be almost. I need, I need new strings on my guitar. So you're bending the second fret A string. And you're pulling. So I've seen some lessons where they're not bending, they're just sliding to the, the next fret. That's not what Ed Kowalczyk or whatever his name is. Um, that's not what he does. Um, he's bending and then pull it. So it's not this either. You're not hitting the string twice. It's just, all right, it's this. Okay. And then you go to a G. All right, and with the chords, he's um, hitting the B and high E string. So it's G to a D, to a D suspended four, to a G, to a D, to a D suspended four, to an E minor, to a B minor, to a C add nine. And that's the verse. And then you mute. Um, so what a palm mute is, basically I'm, I'm taking my my pick and what I'm doing is I'm, I'm hitting my my pick and the side of my hand at the same time making an abrupt stop. So maybe when I edit this, I'll do it in slow motion so you could see it, but it's like. And it just, it just stops the, the chord abruptly. And there's a lot of songs where you can do that. It's just a good technique to know. This is just one of various mutes that you'll um, that you'll need to know. Um, so basically, again, C add nine, and then you're gonna take your pick and the side of your hand. They call it a, a palm mute, but you're really not using your palm. You're using the side of your hand. That's it. And then you start over. And to right or wrong. To me, strong, it is no stream from the wall. And then you have a pre-chorus, um, which is a D, and you strum that eight times. I will, I will, I will, I will, I will, I will, I 
have here a chorus, which is an E minor to an A major. So then, um, at some point, there's a breakdown after the chorus. And then... Hey, no, it won't be rain. Hey, no, it won't be. Then it goes C at nine. Scar like that. To a D. Scar like that. To an E minor. To a D. Oh, then you mute it, and then you go, you bend and pull. G, D, G, D, D, to a D suspended four. Then it starts over. And to love God. Whatever the words are, no one that has a name. And then go to the pre chorus again. Help we Right? Eight times. To your chorus, E minor. Thanks for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed it. I did. Um, see you next time.